Hello everyone. Uh, we're going to be doing something on the channel today that we haven't done in a while. Uh, we're going to be talking about some basic home improvement uh, things that you can do. Um, and this case is actually going to be uh, fixing something uh, around the house. Um, as you can see, we've got a fixture here that if we can maybe get the angle right, uh, you can see that it's coming off of the wall. Um, the person that installed this, which was the previous owner, because the fixture doesn't match anything else in the bathroom, um, used probably a wall anchor that I would not recommend using because basically this is used all the time and as you wash your hands and dry it, it keeps moving. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about in this video what type of wall anchor to use and we're gonna replace the uh, the fixture with something else. And I can tell you I, in the same bathroom, I've replaced a, uh, a toilet paper roll holder that had the same problem. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, if you're pretty handy. This video may not be for you, but you may enjoy it. So with that, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is actually remove the fixture. Um, and to do that, there's going to be a little tiny screw at the very bottom. And if we can maybe get that up there, you can see there's a little screw right there. Um, and it's going to be a flathead. And you just use a very tiny screwdriver and uh, loosen that screw. And the, uh, the fixture will come off and you'll have access to the mount. All right, so what we're going to be doing is using a screwdriver just like this. Maybe zoom it. There we go. So it's nice and tiny. All right, so it looks like the bottom plug is actually still sort of in there. The top plug, however, is definitely on its way out. So we're just gonna go ahead and take this off. And this thing will probably just pull right out. There we go. And that's the finished piece. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this plug out. And to pull the plug, what we're gonna do is use a little tool like this, uh, which has a sharp end to it, which I'll be able to use to pry it out. Um, and then just a pair of pliers, a pair of needle nose pliers will, will, should work pretty well for this. And if we make a little bit of a bigger hole, that's okay because of the, what we're gonna be using. There we go, we didn't even need the needle nose. Um, as you can see, that's what it looks like with that anchor. Um, so the reason that that's not a problem is because we're actually gonna be inserting this bad boy right into that hole right there, which actually we might need to make just slight, big, slight bigger as well. All right, so to start off with, let's talk about the wall anchors. Um, the reason that, that, that the, uh, the fixture failed is because it was using a wall anchor like this. And basically every time um, the, the, the fixture was moved, um, it moved a little bit out of the, um, the drywall or made the hole a little bit bigger. So this kept moving out and out and out. Um, previous to this anchor, um, I would probably would have used this anchor. Uh, What's great about this one is it, it does torpedo in further um, and I feel it has a better grip. Um, however, this is gonna be a problem even with what we currently have because it is a damaged, uh, damaged wall. Um, so what we're gonna do is use one of these guys. And what I like about this guy is it's not gonna go into the drywall itself, it's gonna go past the drywall and catch right there. So that way there's not gonna be any movement in that hole for the drywall. So basically you just push that right into the hole, just like that, and then it gets to the edge of the drywall and it springs open, which is awesome. So that's, the, that's what we're gonna be using instead of the traditional anchor that you might use. So the fixture that we are gonna be replacing with is gonna be this one, it's just an Amazon Basics 
fixture. I'll put a link to it uh, down in the description. Uh, but basically it matches all the other fixtures that we have in here um, that is from a more name brand uh, fixture company. Uh, but it was uh, about a third of the price, so I'm happy with that. So let's go ahead and take that out and take a look at what comes with it. I will say the bag is packaged pretty nicely. Um, so that's going to be the, the wall bracket. We'll just make sure that the holes line up. Hopefully they do. And then this will become the new fixture. All right, so I took the, the wall plate out of the bag and we'll just line up, just make sure holes are going to fit. Just make sure we don't have a bigger problem and they do fit. So that's perfect. Uh, that's always a problem, <laughs> something I always worry about with these kind of projects. Uh, so what we're going to do then is we're going to go ahead and put the, uh, make this hole and this hole just a slight bit bigger. Uh, that way we'll be able to fit the, uh, the new, uh, drywall anchors in. All right. So we're just going to use a half inch bit. And big thing you're gonna be careful of is just make sure that you line up the center of the hole as best you can. And just like that, we've made our holes bigger and hopefully we'll be able to put this guy in. We can do a test. We're not gonna to wanna to put it in all the way. It's a little tight fit, but we can push it through. So it's, that'll work out just fine. All right, so the next thing we're gonna to need to do is actually put our wall anchors inside of, or on the brackets itself. So what we're gonna do is, screw's a little bit big, but we can go ahead and feed it through. So the, the thread on this is just a little bit bigger than I was anticipating, uh, but we are able to screw it through, or thread it through. Uh, so it's just gonna take a little bit longer. Uh, no, not a big deal though. So we'll go ahead and get it started like this. All right, so able to get the screws in. Uh, so the next part is to put these guys on. And basically you just wanna make sure that you always make sure that the, whoops, the spring side <laughs> goes towards uh, the, the fixture. And you wanna leave a, get it a little bit tight, but you don't wanna go all the way because if you do that, you may not have, it might not be able to fit through the wall. So go ahead and get this. Started pretty well. Just wanna make it so it's not gonna collapse on you. So that'll work. And then we'll just do the other one. Okay. So there you go. And you wanna make sure that they are going to go horizontal and not vertical because you'll have problems with them possibly class, uh, getting them, getting each other as they, they collapse or expand, I should say. Um, the other thing that you wanna make sure of is to make sure that the fixture itself that goes against the wall does not have a top or bottom. In this case, it's exactly the same on the top and the bottom. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and affix to the wall. And just make sure you collapse the joints. And make sure you hear the class, hear them in there and give it a good pull. And that's in there. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and screw those in. Um, that way it is, and we wanna make sure that it is level up and down. Um, when you screw these in, you're gonna to have to do them a little bit at the same time. Um, that way, because they are at the, you know, make sure that you don't um, have one too far in and then you have problems with it not being level and whatnot. So let's go ahead and do that. Try to get right a good angle here so you guys can see. 
That is it. Getting close here. Get the bottom one in. I'll be ready to rock. So as you get closer here, you really want to make sure that you get level. That's in there nice and good. Perfect. And now that our job is almost done, uh, what we need to do is unscrew the screw that's in here just a little bit. Um, and then we'll put that this guy on. You'll notice that this part here is going to latch onto the top of right here. A little bit more. Almost there. And we should be good now. Make sure you put that in as far as it'll go. And now we've got our towel holder or ring in this case uh, that is affixed to the wall. It's not going to get pulled out, which is one of the problems that you have um, with those other anchors. So what I'll do is I'll put a link down the bottom uh, so you can kind of see a little bit about the toggle bolt. Uh, it's definitely the way that the, the anchor that I prefer to use with drywall, especially anything that's going to get pulled on, because uh, that thing isn't going anywhere. Um, you know, if you have kids, something to worry about because uh, they're always yanking on things. Uh, toggle bolt won't be a problem. So if you have any questions or comments um, about the installation here, uh, maybe about the, uh, the drywall anchor that I decided to use, um, or about the fixture itself, uh, please feel free to leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps the channel. Um, and uh, if you like this type of content, um, we don't do a whole lot of home improvement, but we do a lot of other things on this channel that a professional geek might find interesting. Uh, so uh, I know I find it interesting. Hopefully you will as well. Uh, the parks are starting to open up, so uh, we'll start going to uh, Universal Studios as well as, uh, as Disney because it is opening up uh, next month. Uh, so, um, but we do a lot of things that a professional geek might find interesting. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, please subscribe to the channel. And with that, have a great day.